Welcome Virgo and welcome to the song series. This is a series of videos where I dedicate a song that I believe represents the energy of your sign. And before I dedicate my song to you, let's take a quick look at where we are in terms of the broader scheme of the zodiac. Now Virgo, we have come quite some distance and I'm going to mark Aries in here as well. I'm running the zodiac wheel this way for teaching purposes uh, and we're going around this way. We started here in Aries and we have come through summer and the sun is now starting to too dim. We're not going to have as much light anymore and we have come to Virgo. We have come to a very cool part of the zodiac indeed. Uh, as I say the light is starting to become a bit less and I use the American word fall here as opposed to autumn because I think it's such a brilliant word. Fall. We fall down into winter. You know, I, I just think that's a terrific word. So I've been using that throughout the series. Uh, if we do a quick recap on your sign, we'll find that you are ruled by Mercury. Your element is Earth. You are symbolized by the Virgin. And your motto is, I serve. So with each sign, everybody has a different motto. So Aries had, I am. Taurus was, I have. So on and so forth. We get to Virgo and it's I serve. And my goodness, you guys make brilliant service professionals. You know, we're talking like management consultants, lawyers, healers, physicians. Uh, this part of the zodiac rules the healing of the physical body. It rules enemies. It rules debt. Um, you know, I've got a note here. Both healers and lawyers are often seen coming out of this sign. You guys are some of the most hardworking and professional people out there. That is without question. And you're also kind of famous for being perfectionists, right? I'm sure you've heard that in many places before. And there's always that joke about, you know, when you go to a job interview and people say, oh, what's your weakness? And people say, well, I am a bit of a perfectionist. You know, I mean, that's kind of become a bit of a humorous thing. But believe it or not, there are people who really are very good at what they do. And, you know, there's no crime in that. I don't see it as a weakness at all, really. I think, great. I think if you're, you know, borderline perfectionist, because let's face it, on the earth plane, there's nothing that exists that is absolute you, know, you cannot be absolutely perfect there will be some imperfection somewhere <laughs> but I mean who gets close to, to being perfection I'd say you guys and to the point that other signs would see it as absolute do you know what I mean other signs would see that wow they're just absolutely perfect uh, you would know, you would have this extra consciousness that kind of goes, well, I'm not exactly perfect. But to other people of other signs, you would be pretty amazing and uh, quite possibly quite flawless. Which brings me to my song dedication for you. It is Flawless, Go to the City by George Michael. One of the reasons I chose this song is because I think George Michael has a flawless voice. I think he's got the most perfect singing voice. There you go. I mean, I, I can't really sing. So I appreciate his voice as being utterly perfect. Yet he might kind of say of himself that, well, I'm good, but I can always improve. You know, it's that kind of dynamic. Whereas an outsider would look and just go, my God, that's breathtaking. So, you know, I really do think George Michael has an incredible live singing voice that's absolutely perfect. I did see him perform live and unlike other artists, he doesn't allow any electronic or digital tampering of his voice. You get to hear his natural, authentic voice on every track and every time he would go on stage, it was him, you know, uh, what a great, what a great singer. What a terrific sounding voice, just amazing. 
Um, so yeah, I, I love the film clip for this as well. I think it works so beautifully. Uh, but before we get into the film clip, I did want to say, I've got a note here, why is there a need for perfection? Why is there a need for perfection? It's probably because there is chaos. And I do think that chaos is actually a part of this sign, right? So, and you'll see that in the film clip. If you watch the film clip, um, and by the way, actually, you're very welcome to pause this video and click on the link below and watch your song now, or listen to my analysis first, and then go off and watch the film clip. Either way, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but this question of why is there a need for perfection is probably because there's chaos. And that's what you'll see in the film clip. There's chaos, you know, and that's why we need you, Virgo, because, you know, and, and in a way you need chaos because you, you need to have something to do. You need the conditions for your gifts to shine. You see, so you actually kind of need some chaos as well in a funny sort of a way. Uh, this sign is also very much um, representing the ability to sort the wheat from chaff. You know, uh, that's, that's another famous thing of your sign. Digestion, I'm pretty sure it rules the area of the body where the intestines live and what, what do the intestines do? Well, they say, okay, this is good, that's rubbish, we're getting rid of that, but we're keeping this. So that is a function of, of what your energy does. Uh, if you do watch the film clip and you see the chaos that's going on there, firstly, it's really interesting when I watched the film clip, even I started doing it, I kind of watched it and I thought, well, this is brilliant. Except for that part at the start where we have that guy kind of, you know, he's in the bathroom and I don't know, like it's, there's a little bit of too much information going on there. And I remember thinking, you know, this would have been perfect if it wasn't for that scene at the start. And then I kind of went, oh, that's very Virgoan, isn't it? Wow, well, we have to choose this one then. That's perfect. I imagine that you guys can be a little bit like that. You'd be like, well, this thing is perfect. Except for that, like you've got these eagle eyes that just kind of zone in very quickly on, boom, that thing. Oh, what, what's going on there? Um, which is great right? You know, that is great. Because excellence, you know, this thing of excellence is a part of our world. And how do we achieve excellence? It's, it's thanks to people like you who are able to, to get things to that state. You know, uh, great proofreaders, great editors of books, people who can take large quantities of data and deal with the detail and polish everything and make it perfect or as close to perfection as is humanly possible. Uh, visually, you'll notice that there's chaos. So yes, we have the guy in the bathroom, um, you know, he's just come home from a really long day at work, which that represents you as well, because you probably always come home when it's nighttime. You know what I mean? You've probably worked all day and you probably only really get home when it's night. Um, I think that's, that's definitely something that features people who come from this part of the zodiac. So we've got him. And then we've got, it's really interesting, we have these kind of dancers that come in one by one. But each one of them are dancing as if they do not know the other person is there. And that was visually significant for your sign because this is the last of the uh, individual. This is the last sign of the individual. All of these signs up until this point from Aries, and um, you know, we've got Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, all of these are signs of the individual. As soon as we step, we fall down into this section, Li Libra, now Libra becomes about the other, and we're gonna get into collective consciousness from there on in. This is the last of the individual. And you'll notice that each one of these dancers, they dance as if they don't know the other person is there. It's almost as if there are all these different timelines just being overlaid, kind of. And 
none of them know that the other is there. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, right now, there are different frequencies in the air. I can't hear them, but they're there. You know, there are radio waves, there are TV waves, there are all kinds of waves that are present kind of things. So, you know, that is quite interesting as well. And this being the section of Mercury. Yeah, all this is fascinating. Uh, so each dances as if they're not being seen. There's also this flash mob style of dancing that emerges which I think is fantastic. That is Virgo energy. So it's all this chaos, it's all mad, and then all of a sudden they all synchronize and they dance together and they're in unison and they're perfect and it's all kind of this flash mob thing arrives and that's just beautiful and that is Virgo energy. That's the Virgo perfection in real time, in, you know, in the play of this film clip it's just fantastic um, the other thing is that visually so we've got all these different types of bodies all these different types of bodies like every type of body that you could possibly imagine and you think about it earlier I said that this sign rules the healing of the physical body rules enemies and debt both healers and lawyers are often seen here so you look at lawyers right? And courtrooms. What's going in and out of courtrooms? All kinds of foreign bodies. You've got rich people, you've got poor people, you've got this kind of people, that kind of people, you've got all different foreign bodies going into a courtroom. Uh, courtrooms are very interesting places, you know, and all different types of individuals are going in and out of there. The other thing that we've got is, uh, so healers. So what are healers dealing with? Healers are dealing with Foreign bodies, again, foreign bodies, bacteria, viruses, this, that, all different type of, you know, foreign bodies, basically. So I thought, yeah, this is really interesting. And then the Virgoan energy is the one that can handle it, that can deal with it, that's calm and that's patient and that's hardworking and that says, yes, come to me, I will sort you out. You know, it's very much um, what's going on in this part of the zodiac. So if we take a look at some notable lyrics to see as well. So visually, yes, it's definitely a match. What about lyrics wise? I felt the lyrics really match you as well. Uh, it starts with, and it's no good waiting by the window. It's no good waiting for the sun. The sun is gone. You know, they've all come back after a long, hard day. Um, please believe me. The things you dream of, they don't fall in the laps of no one. You've got to go to the city, right? You've got to work hard, you know? You've got to work hard. If you're going to make something yourself, you've got to put in the effort. It says, you're wasted here. You're a star in this small town of hand-me-downs who don't even know it. I love that line. I just think that's fantastic. And... I mean, goodness, it is a bit that way. You know, there's that um, song. The other song that I thought of for you guys, but I didn't want to choose it because it's too old school, but I personally love this song. It's Dolly Parton's 9 to 5. And that has the same theme of this, you're wasted here, you're a star in this small town of hand-me-downs who don't even know it. You know, I imagine that you are very brilliant and possibly overworking and not being recognized that, that, that's quite possible Virgo um, but don't you worry because Saturn the karmic accountant is watching everything and you will cash in so if that is you if you really are overworking and, and you're not seeing the rewards immediately don't worry you will cash in keep working keep I mean look after yourself which I'm sure you do I'm sure you're health conscious People who come out of this part of the zodiac usually are very health conscious and good at looking after themselves. Um, as with every sign, I've been telling them what's so great about their sign. And my goodness, there's so much that is so wonderful about your sign, Virgo. Uh, you know, I, I put a note here that as Carly Simon once sang, nobody does it better. That was a song that I looked at for you guys. I really did. But the reason I couldn't choose it is because there's a line in there that says, baby, you're the best. 
And I thought, oh, I can't choose that because then I'm showing bias towards one sign. And for me, every single sign is the best. Uh, so I couldn't go for that one, but I, I love that song for you as well. And, and you can think that to yourself, but nobody does it better. Do you know what? I'm very good at what I do. Uh, I've got a note here, many rags to riches stories come out of this sign. Absolutely. I've seen prime ministers and leaders with this sign as well. I know that leadership is often attributed to Leos, but believe it or not, I've seen many, many uh, leaders and people in very prominent positions who are in fact born at this time of the year, at this Virgo time of the year. Um, incredibly hardworking, you're extremely loyal. Uh, and I've got a note here to say you've got the intellectual stamina to compete with the best Saturnians. Now that's an interesting point that I raise there. I mean, I think Saturnians have got the stamina, the intellectual stamina to compete with the best Saturnians. This is an interesting point, potentially controversial. Who's the more intellectual, the Saturnian or the Merc Mercurial person? Um, it's interesting. I think, I don't know if, I don't know if you could say, I'm kind of rethinking my note here now, intellectual stamina to compete with the best Saturnians. I mean, the Saturnians, what are we talking? We've got, let's see, Aquarius here, Capricorn. We've got these two here. And they, look, I mean, they go the distance. They work hard too. But I, I mean, I think you might outwork them and I think you might be smarter than them. I mean, don't tell them I said that, but... <laughs> But I got a lot of belief and faith and, and love for, for the Virgos, believe me. I think it's a sensational sign. I think every sign is I love them equally. I hope I do stress that. But I mean, when I spend time in each one, I do really try to go deep and reflect, okay, wow, what is so amazing about this sign? And definitely Virgo, um, you are a much needed and much loved part of the zodiac, even though maybe you perhaps sometimes don't receive or see the love or get to feel it as much or as often as say for example a showy Leo would don't tell Leo I said that but uh you know it's it's you're incredible you're just amazing and keep being you you know I've got a note here you could write a book in your lunch hour if you haven't already there we go so you're very industrious but truly, I mean, um, you know, and imagine if you're a Virgo and you've got good, strong Saturn energy or if you're a Saturnian and you've got good, strong Mercurial energy. And I think those people make the top best intellectuals, you know, because you need the brilliance of the Mercury, but you also need that working a little bit every day over a very long period of time thing that Saturn has. So, you know. So now with each sign I've been giving a tip and I've been saying if life gets a bit too boring, if life gets a bit too samey or routine or you know you just want to break out and do something different, I've been telling people to go and hang out in their polar opposite. Now the polar opposite for you Virgo is Pisces. I'm going to put a little star here so you can see in the mess of this diagram, in the chaos of this diagram, uh, you can see where I'm pointing you to. I want you to come and hang out here in Pisces. And I want you to hang out there and just see what they're all about and get a feel for it and relax. That's a place where you can really let go. There are no, no limits, no bounds, no... Just freedom and fun and relaxation and, um, you know, rest and all that wonderful stuff hanging out in Pisces. So my tip is chill out <laughs> in Pisces. Um, you can watch the video about Pisces if you want to get some ideas or, or get some inspiration. But really, I mean, just treat yourself to a holiday. You know, if you don't have time to watch that video, that's okay. Treat yourself to a holiday. Treat yourself to a spa day. Just remember to build some more relaxation into your life and and share share some of that brilliant mind with those around you you know and because you've got that mercurial thing going on there you can definitely make people laugh you can uh, inspire people around you 
There's so much that you can share and give to people around you. You are a much, much loved part of the Zodiac Virgo and you are vital, in fact. Uh, we all love you, you know, perhaps we don't say it enough, but you really are an amazing part of the Zodiac. So keep being amazing. Do recharge now and then. And if you would like, you're very welcome to join me in the next sign. And that is Libra. So thank you for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you in Libra.